Welcome to Resettled Radio, brought to you by the ARCC, live on Planet FM. Stay tuned for current affairs, conversation, interviews, music and more. As we explore the perspectives and stories from resettled communities. And to bring you information from within the resettlement sector. Good evening. This is Reset Radio brought to you live by ARCC on Planet FM 104.6. And I'm your host for the day, Galua Kjol, and I have Full House here with me today. This is a World of Fiji Day, very special day. And we will be talking about a number of things. And um, very amazing thing, this is a special day honoring um, those who are suffering in uh, various countries. And uh, yes, and that's uh, Eddie Kenzo from Uganda. So welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you have just joined us, if, if you are following us online, thank you for following us. And feel free to download the podcast because it will be uh, there. It is always there. And uh, yeah, we will always uh, download it for you. And you can share it. You can share it widely as much as you want. So I have a team here. Um, I don't want to spoil their names, so they will uh, they will introduce their names. It's an amazing team. So one hour show, it's not going to be boring. So we're going to take you to this one hour show. So with me is uh, Dr. Malik from Hope. Thank you very much, Catalog, and uh, welcome to everyone on ARCC live show. Uh, thank you, Dr. Malik. Uh, Dr. Malik is the director of Hope, uh, Hope Pakistan Worldwide, and uh, doing amazing things there. And this is one of the things we will be talking about. And uh, next is Faisal someone who is Farali. familiar. <laughs> <laughs> this is Faisal Farali from ARCC. Thank you, Faisal. Rex, can you say anything? Your name, maybe? Yes, my name is Rex Wilmshurst, and I'm a um, board member of Hope, and I do a lot of um, uh, work around about uh, picking up things for food banks and uh, voluntary fundraising and all sorts of um, activities, which is great to be able to help out people. Uh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the team. That's the team here. It's very amazing, doing an amazing job. Um, so today, our guests are Rex and Dr. Malik from, uh, t- uh, from Hope from Hope uh, Pakistan Worldwide, and uh, maybe we can start by, uh, what is Hope, to those who do not know? <laughs> hope is First of all, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mr. Getlock. First mm-hmm. of all, I think, uh, I'm sorry to correct you, Hope Worldwide Pakistan, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, so Hope Worldwide Pakistan, uh, Hope Humanitarian Organization for Poverty Eradication. So we're based in Henderson, Auckland, and uh, we are working with the families from those who are facing hardships and those who are struggling to meet their daily needs uh, regarding food bank. We have a uh, running a food watch program every week uh, here in Henderson, and also we are working with the families, those who newly arrived, and to help them to assimilate within the New Zealand society. We do quite a number of things uh, every year. We have a uh, our diversity, cultural diversity program, where we run our culturally diverse program. So many cultures from the different backgrounds. So we all come together and celebrate diversity. We're not only just uh, talking about celebrity, we are also diversity. We celebrate diversity by bringing all cultures together. So please uh, mark your diary. There's a like uh, 26th of September. It will be in Tata to South Community Hall. So. It will be lots of fun. So there's a lots of uh, you know uh, different uh, cultures. We will have a very good food and music and uh, dance drums. Yeah. So we do these things quite a different uh, throughout the year. Yeah. And we also have a very good uh, like uh, working relationship with ARCC. We alter our resettled community coalition because Hope is also a member of ARCC. Yeah. So if you would like to know more about uh, the organization, please jump onto our website. So we'll be keep talking about this, these things. So website is hopeworldwide.org.nz. That's amazing. Thank you, Dr. Malik. And if you are, are following us too, still listening, you know, it's 26th September. 
Yes, 26th of September in John Mason it is amazing. Uh, I was there. I think I've been attending. I attended. I think twice or three times. It's mm -hmm. Very amazing. It's so good. It's so good. That's where you see a community space out there, and you know it's good to come and and experience. Um, have a different experience. You know, meeting different people from uh, different walks of life from different communities. And yeah. one of the outstanding uh, job the, the mm. uh, Pakistan worldwide is doing mm. is advocacy. And you know advocacy is not an easy thing. Yeah, yeah when, it's, exactly. when, when it comes to advocacy, it's, it's like you are putting your life on the line because you are dealing with uh, a very hostile environment. Uh, Sometimes you can end up being locked up because uh, you are dealing yeah. with very sensitive issues, and uh, I, I commend Hope uh, for that. Uh, Hope, uh, Hope Pakistan Worldwide is one of the 24 members of ARCC, and Hope Pakistan Worldwide is, uh, is unique in the sense that it is doing uh, a job which ARCC should be doing, but they are doing it uh, both inside and outside the country. Can I just add to the hope thing? Um, yeah. The reason that, that we've established hope is that everybody needs hope, right? So, yeah. Yeah. so what we do uh, is is we empower people, and we and we do training courses and things so that people can have more hope in life, right? So yeah. that so that people aren't just kind of have no understanding of the future. We we want people to have that hope, to have the empowerment so that they can live better lives in the future, and that's and that's what we've got to be all about. Uh, we don't just want to better give people money we want to empower people to live better with healthy lifestyles and and training courses that we do in different countries so yeah. so that's very important to understand oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. amazing that's amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh it's a hard work you know uh some people might might think you know when you are doing advocacy work is it, all it takes is to talk on behalf of the people no that's it's no, more no, than no. that Yes, it's a, it's a very <laughs> tough job. Yeah, it's very tough job. And, and this and now in this world there are a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, a lot of formation around you. Yeah, the, the, the country is uh, the world is not the world we used to know. Yeah, you know things government change. Yeah, you know the governments change and the government the, roles. Yeah, it's, so it's it's uh, too many things together. Yeah. And we've got to understand that things won't get any better, right? The, the, the way the, the world is at the moment, things will not get better in terms of, of um, the world and its, its moral values and things like that. We, we are on that kind of a, a decline. Mm -hmm. And so, so we need to have people who will, will have a hope that they can at least do best in the situation that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, some people might say, oh, you know, that we'll get back to what we had before. Well, we won't. It'll be change. It'll be different. But people need to have empowerment to 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 have some understanding of how to to cope with and do the best with the challenging situation that is facing so many people in the world at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now um, we will go for a break, and when we come back, uh, we will talk about uh, hope. Pakistan worldwide. One of the objectives or missions or visions of hope uh, Pakistan worldwide is to eradicate poverty. And uh, you guys have been doing amazing things here in Auckland, you know, uh, delivering food to the needy, yeah. providing food to the families in need even during the lockdown. And, and, and these are one of the things, you know, the basic needs of, of, the, human, uh, yeah. of the human needs. Yeah. And these are very exceptional uh, what you guys are doing. So we will talk about this when we come back. Let's have a break. Welcome back to Reset Radio, guys. This is Dr. Malik from Hope, and uh, we are having a very good fun today yes. with uh, information, lots of information, yes. and lots of uh, yeah. good things of sharing with uh, yeah. all our fauna around yep. the whole around New the Zealand, yep. around the even Rotorua. Is thank you very much for listeners for. It's it's a good day yeah. today, you know, it's a war of your day, you don't need to be sad, you know. A lot of yeah, I'm very happy to get a look, and we had a very wonderful evening uh, this morning, uh, event organized by Immigration New Zealand yeah. and the Red Cross and Otero Resettled yeah. Community Coalition. Yeah. So we had a yeah. very good event, and we had a lots of uh, a lot very of interesting yeah. stories yeah. and yeah. lots of fun. Yeah, and sure. uh, yeah, we, ha uh, we really appreciate and acknowledge the people, yeah. and, you know. 
Yeah, this is, this is know, the first I, meeting after the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm very happy to we, see the Yeah, we need to come there. out from. Even that. the country yeah. is, uh, you know, we have uh, done amazingly well, and yeah. then New Zealand is doing, and lots of people uh, they are still facing some problems because of the yeah. jobs, and uh, but yeah. hopefully we'll be get, getting there slowly, yeah, slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now uh, the song was. Um, a song from Michael Jackson, and he was singing about you, We Are The World. So he created that song in 1984, you know, when Ethiopia was hit by uh, the drought. Yeah. That's where the African refugee came from. Yes. Wo African world refugee, that's yeah. where it came from. So yeah. Michael Jackson uh, cr dedicated that song to the children who were suffering because of uh, no food, malnutrition, yeah. uh, lack of care. And, and all of that. It was when it hit, you know, when that hit came out, it was like the best, the best in the world. I and it's still relevant. I remember that uh, that days, and it hit all Middle Africa until the South of Africa. All yeah. those people hunger. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because we had it, it started with Ethiopia and then Eritrea and mm -hmm. then uh, Djibouti, Somalia. Just and like that, it's Sub Sahara Africa. Yeah, yeah, Sudan. Yeah. yeah, that's the song, that's what the song means, and uh, yeah, that's that's it. So yeah. before we went to break, we said we will come back and talk about uh, the amazing things the Hope is doing, and especially the food delivery. How, how did you guys manage it? Because uh, we have 24 communities, even it was difficult for ARCC itself to <coughs> deliver food to the families who did not have means to either to buy food or do not have the uh, means of transport to go and buy food. But you guys pull your slips and get there and how, how, how hard was it, you know? Uh, yeah, get luck, it was a uh, very challenging, uh, you know, moments, but uh, we really appreciate and hats off to all of our volunteers, mm -hmm. those who have uh, come along and ready for help. So I will uh, also uh, commend here Mr. Rex Wilmast, who is also present here with us today. He, myself, and uh, Nassim Gill, and our uh, team of uh, Mr. Cyrus Rose, if he is uh, listening, and Khalid Yaqub, and Paramjit is also social worker, and I also, with uh, lots of other organization, including uh, the Fono, there's a Maria Kessler, and uh, she is also social worker. So the team of uh, volunteers, they um, they just with a passion of helping people and passion of just standing uh, with this uh, crisis, standing yeah. with the community yeah. with this crisis, and we we jumped in, and then we also thank you for the support from uh, community awareness and preparedness grant fund, yeah. Ministry of Social Development. Uh, we they have uh, given us a uh, funding approved within a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. And with the support of this uh, funding, we have uh, you know helped uh, about more than uh, ten different ethnicities, so um, all different people oh, wow, you know, within the wider yeah, Auckland. That's so good. so that's everyone who was yeah. yeah. Well, and one of the great things for me was I uh, I got to get out to go. Sorry, I, <laughs> I got to go to <laughs> South Auckland. Uh, on one Sunday afternoon and, and deliver parcels to people's houses. Mm. And it was really good to see, as I was driving around virtually the whole of South Auckland, mm. seeing families out walking and seeing fathers walking with their families, right? Yeah. So that's, I've talked before about there being changes, mm. right? Mm. That's one of the good changes that I've seen. It's, uh, and I'm hoping that that will be encouraged because, um, you know, because fathers were in lockdown and, and didn't have jobs maybe necessarily at that time, able to get out and walk with their families and just get out and that was good, great to see. Oh, that's yeah, good. that's, that's, that's amazing. And um, <coughs> for those who do not hope, uh, know the hope of uh, Pakistan worldwide, uh, you can go to their website, you will see that they are doing amazing things, you know, with uh, very uh, minimum, uh, minimal resources. They do not have enough, but they are doing a lot with uh, what they, uh, they, they have. And, uh, yes, we need more helpers. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, we'll yes. If yeah. you've got <laughs> some time, you know, and you're listening, and you have a passion to help some help uh, in some way, please tune with us, and uh, you can reach us uh, by ringing text or email, or maybe through the uh, resettled community solution. Yes, yeah, yeah. if you don't know how to get them, just get us, and then we will link you up. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So we really appreciate, you know, without the support of volunteers, we mm. can't do anything much, you know. Yeah. 
you know, it's not it's not a lot. You 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 get a penny. Some other person got a, got a penny, a dollar. You know, they add up. Yeah, These little no, things they count. You know, they they count whatever whatever uh, dollar value you have, they count. And um, hope Pakistan worldwide uh, does a lot of uh, fundraising events, yeah. fundraising activities every year, year in year out. So for those listeners who uh, who are listening and who might wish to donate. So maybe they need a little highlight of uh, the fundraising after you guys have done the fundraising. What do you do with the fundraising? I know you have so many programs out there. Mm -hmm. One of the good things coming up at the end of the year is our annual uh, night where we get together all sorts of cultures and we have a great time uh, in West Auckland. Uh, what's the date for that this year, Mark? Uh West Auckland, what is that? The, the fundraising, the, 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 the uh, cultural night. Yeah, culture night, uh, as I mentioned. Oh, I think the, I told you before, uh, 26th of September. 26th oh, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 of September mm -hmm. is about with uh, time, I think maybe three months. Yeah. But 26th of September is Saturday. So we're also having a, our annual general meeting on 25th of July. If you've got a chance or time, just please feel free to come. And uh, yeah, our email is uh, very simple, hopeworldwide at extra.co.nz. I will repeat hope worldwide one word h o p e w o r l d w i d e hope worldwide at x t r a extra dot co dot n z so please feel free to send us an email and if you have any interest or if you were, have anything to say or share with us just feel free to jump on us at the computer and uh, yeah not jump on us <laughs> <laughs> jump I on get, the computer yeah, the, <laughs> i can hear the sound and of and lots of people writing that down yeah. Yeah, any kind of write down, write down, or maybe text, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah write down our text. You know, yeah. these guys are, are not so hard to find and uh, they are so easy to locate. So, if you lose track, just you know, remember, go back to ARCC and we will hang you up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is so it's, it's a really so good. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling very excited. This is my first time here, and uh, yeah. I'm very happy and also. Yeah. Feeling, uh, you know, being a part of that, uh, that I can not only talking these four people. Yeah. So there are lovely people who are tuning in. Some of might be going home. Yeah. Some might be having uh, fun with the family or some finishing work. So hats on for you guys. Just drive safely and then please uh, uh, yeah. don't forget uh, that today is a special day for people. Those who are still suffering are standard, but you know the many of them they have been resettling and also being a part of the society. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. You know that our Prime Minister always says, uh, be kind. Yeah, be yeah. kind. That's, just that's be, be kind. kind. Yeah, just yeah. be but kind. But the good news today, yeah. I hear from the immigration, the world, around the world, they will start the resettlement program around the world. Eh? Mm -hmm. the, yesterday, they have the decision, and they will now, from the next month, mm -hmm. global, take, global resettlement yeah, process yeah, will yeah. start. They will start from next month. And they will have an intake from different kind of countries, and I know that the this time we're going to be because we are complaining about the Africans they're not coming to New Zealand too much now they will go to to Egypt to bring some people to mm. to Ethiopia also they're going to bring yeah. That's good. That's the good news to hear about it. Uh, yeah, I think and, this uh, is uh, and of course they remind us give today. Give the people hope. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Rex. Th yeah, they reminded us today that there are 80 million people displaced in the world. Almost 80 million people mm. displaced. Yeah, yeah. Right? displaced. Mm. So it's a huge task to try and help and 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 to have those people um, in situations that are that are, really that are much better than, than languishing in terrible um, mm. refugee camps. Right? Yeah. Mm. The, the other reason that we were excited today was, of course, that at that function today, there was a family there, mm. a family of four that Hope had been supporting for many years, uh, who, who had to escape to Bangkok from persecution in Pakistan. Uh -huh. and, and because of um, the activities of, of being able to be supported through many mm. years, mm. Uh, living in Bangkok, not being able to work to, to, to earn you know money to support themselves, they are now here, and just to see them there this morning in the beautiful sun sun uh, sunny situation in New Zealand, and thinking that two months ago they were languishing, sleeping on the floor in a horrible Thailand jail, that was really Ooh, exciting to see today. Yeah. You know, just just to talk to to Nomi today and ask him what it was like in the jail. You know, it, it was um, it was uh, amazing. Um, feeling just to see them free 
Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. One of the things, you know, um, when you are helping people, almost you are on the front line. Mm. It doesn't matter what you do. You yeah. you are always there in the front line. Yes. You know, yes. It's, it's there. Even here in New Zealand, uh, those who are overseas might might think we are uh, uh, we. Are more freer than 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 what they are, but you know, actually, we also take punches. But the the difference between us and them, mm. we have uh, a freedom of speech. Yes, yes definitely. Yes, yes. Uh, we do have a so, like yeah. You can say anything you want, you know, without being jailed for what you say, mm. and 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 it still, it does not take away what the cause, what you are fighting yes, for. That's right. Our slogan is also, you know, we promote uh, equality, social justice, and freedom of speech. So yeah, we stand yeah. behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, this, mm. these are the, the, the basic human rights. And, yeah, that's right. And if they are denied, so you have to stand up and, and speak on behalf of those whose rights have been denied. And mm. yeah, that's that's one of the things. And, and on that note, but, but people need to be aware that governments around the world are heading to try to bring in laws about hate speech, right? So, mm. so we need to be very careful there and very discerning because we, because we do not want situations where hate speech lo uh, laws uh, stop us from actually speaking out in things that are sometimes truthful but maybe not quite uh, palatable mm. for people. Mm. So we have to be very careful about the whole and, 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 and when hate, hate speech laws have been, if, if they put them in place, you know, my worries would be uh, those governments led by dictators might, you know, use it to their advantage. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's yeah. Always so there's, there's uh, no, no line there. And yeah. they, they can do anything they want, like like the lockdown now in, 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 in Africa, let's say in Sudan. <laughs> you know, they have right to shoot. Yeah, yeah. Just simple oh. lockdown. You don't get out. Mm. They wow. just shoot you. What yeah, for? The, Some mm. something they can just say, yeah, you go back. You you are not allowed to get out. So it's, it's something mm. simple. You know. Yeah, so the, so all, this all whole um, mm. this, this whole agenda that is happening in the world with with all the things that are happening is all towards government control, and that's mm. the very thing you're saying there. And mm. and mm. we saw in New Zealand where. They very quickly passed the law through to, to give the police access here. So, mm, yeah, so nice. it's all about governments having mm. more and more control mm. over the populace, right? Mm, so yeah, we need yeah. to be very wary of these things. Uh, I think we are very lucky to be in New Zealand, where everything is uh, transparent. Yes, know? that's yeah. right. And, yeah. And Under this, you know, as we're talking about our uh, food watch program, or also what we have uh, been supporting people through, you know, during the lockdown, mm. I would like to take this opportunity here today to express my gratitude to the efforts of. Uh, you know that the whole team has put in to achieve the organization goal and also with the specifically COVID-19 lockdown. So without the support of the volunteers, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah. So I really expressed my gratitude to people and to whole team. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, we will be playing a song, which is my favorite song. So some of the people, though, might have been tuned, so they will love it. So here we is go. It, is it in Punjabi? It's a Punjabi song, Long Lachi, <laughs> guys. So please uh, tune in with us. It's a so nice many song. Of them, it's many a nice people song. will be enjoying. If you don't understand, it's, uh, you know, the lover says... Uh, if if you I'm, don't understand, you know, go with the, with the rhythm. Yeah, that's, go that's with the rhythm. It's about <laughs> Glove yeah, and yeah. Kardaman. Yeah. yeah, enjoy. We will go, come back. Enjoy with the song. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Let's come back to July 20th today, World Refugee Day. We had a good uh, celebration at uh, Mangareira Settlement Center today. It yeah. was good, uh, organized, and the speeches stories very and very moving stories out yeah. there. And uh, yeah, very it, good things. It, it, it was amazing. It so was we'll, amazing. we will be online as well if you wanting to be join us online. After 30 minutes we'll be Zooming. So we had yeah, a very busy day yeah, today guys. Yeah. So, so we will be Zooming and um, if, if you go to ARCC uh, Facebook page, uh, you know, you can message us there and then we can send you the link. Yeah. Uh, to, to the Zoom. You can be part of the Zoom. It's a worldwide thing. So anybody's allowed and it's all about honoring uh, our, our, World uh, Day. Yeah, World, World of Refugee Day acknowledgement, the, the achievements made, and standing in solidarity with people who are still struggling. You know. 
And it's wonderful that we have this technology now. I've, I've done lots of stuff on Zoom in the last two months, and I never dreamed a few months ago I'd be doing that, right? Yeah. And it's great to have that technology, and it's great that the COVID bug was very nice not to come along until we yeah, had Zoom, wasn't it? It's a benefit from COVID. Yeah, we have yeah. a lot of things to take, uh, taken out of COVID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the timing's so been wonderful. <laughs> Okay, I was going to say about, about, about today as well. Um, it was wonderful there again today just to see all those people there in that neat environment at Mangere, uh, to see that they're being looked after by our government, that they've been rescued from terrible situations. We see nightly on the news some terrible situations of people in camps and in boats and stuff. And it was just wonderful today to see our government has uh, taken on board uh, a lot of people uh, and rescued them from those terrible situations and see them in, in our country here, that was, it was really gratifying. Yeah. Uh, this New Zealand is uh, very good with the, with the refugees overseas and they bring it here. Um, the good things, New Zealand the only country around the world except refugees and they put him for six weeks in the Mangan Refugee Center and teach him how they will understand around the world. It's a, it's a good step when people come in from overseas and for camps to the camp and they say the different from side. They, this, they will see the different from inside, inside the camp and they see in New Zealand. But the speeches today, there is a lady make a poem about, you remember it, Rick? Yeah, Arach, Arif, Arach, Arif. Yeah, very nice poem. Mm -hmm. And the lady who's speaking, she's originally from Rohanga. Yeah, from Myanmar. Myanmar, Rohanga. Oh, this is bring, bring a lot of motions up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, and the, the yeah. other thing I've noticed lately too is, is that some of the refugee people who come here, who, who have um, been helped and escaped from terrible situations, mm. go on to do great things in our society here. You know, yeah, we have yeah. a lot of people yeah, yeah. inputting great stuff into our society yeah. here. Uh, who have come in uh, from those terrible situations. So there appears to be uh, a determination to want to mm. do well when mm. you've been through terrible stuff. And, and that's yes. life, isn't it? We, we go through terrible times and testings and then, and then we're brought through into much better character and yeah, much better yeah, yeah, development yeah. in life, I which is what we're about, the yeah, empowerment. Yeah. I think the amazing things being done here mm. by those who came, um, who had the opportunity to resettle in New Zealand is part of the celebration today. You know, because the celebration is not about standing in solidarity with those people mm -hmm. who are yeah. still suffering, but also celebrating our achievements that we made. We came a long way and mm -hmm. we, yeah. we made achievements. Mm -hmm. um, I want to, before we put our thoughts together for the day, I want to call uh, Aban Yor, the director, um, the general manager of ARCC, maybe he will give us his thoughts about the day and let's see if I can get the whole of him. And Aban, if you don't know now, you are alive. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's <laughs> I want to ask you that to you personally, what does the word of G day mean to you? Um, personally, uh, word of G day means, um, Historically, it's uh, something that means a lot because uh, this year, the word of the day will have 90 years um, to celebrate. And the word of the day come alive, um, I think, on the 4th of December 2000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when the uh, United Nations Assembly um, have a meeting and they reach to the point that uh, the refugees is stated um, has reached to the point of uh, 50 years and they want to remember those people who've been through that journey for 50 years and they were saying I think it's important to remark uh, 50 years was uh, uh, a day where we will be able to remember and stand in solidarity and uh, uh, commemorating um, yeah, mm, that's right so because um, refugees have a positive impact around the world because it's a part of the forced migration and uh, that is what it's really a uh, word of a gift day for me is going back to particular that um, announcement yeah that's so, good uh, 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 being attached with that journey as well for me where I was refugee 
or asylums in Syria, um, it brings a lot of uh, uh, of the thing that um, uh, which is you carry on with you. And yeah. I think I remember when we in Mangri this morning, um, the young lady was talking about um, survivor guilt. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and survivor guilt, I think many of um, New Zealanders who come here, I think, 1980s, mm-hmm. who is still alive today, they know what is that mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Survivor guilt. Mm. And also, um, for some of uh, us who come recently uh, in the 90s, 99, until day to day, some of us they still is struggling with the survivor guilt because uh, we call something um, about the healing process. I think in our organization, we've been talking about the healing process where we have some of the community that is still dealing with all, all those guilt mm-hmm. and, and, mm. and the challenge they've been facing in New Zealand. That's right. So to, to cut the story short, uh, Word of this Day, uh, it means a lot. Um, yeah. For me, if I have a power around the world, I think um, the word of this day is not going to be uh, something where people pretend solidarity, but it's supposed to stop where people can celebrate uh, no refugees around the world anymore. Yeah, so that's that's now, that's was that's that's, that's yeah. going to be my next question. Is like if 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 you if by any chance or uh, you become a, a um, you be, you become a secretary general for the United Nations. Yes. What what would be the first thing you want to do? <laughs> so, <laughs> being a, a secretary of United Nations, I think it's a, it's a hard seat because yeah, yeah. you're not operating in isolation. You're operating with a lot of government yeah. around the world with the hands in the back. Yes. Yeah, so you, you, that's hands you, you in the will back. Be, um, you will be just surrounded with uh, a lot of power. Yeah, and yeah. And even the decision of you will not really make a lot of things because I do admire for those who've been in that uh, position. Mm. Uh, each and every individual leader who've been a secretary, they've done what they could as yeah, individuals. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but for us as a just ordinary uh, New Zealanders uh, today who come from that background, what we are really uh, calling the world is that uh, to stop to produce something called refugees in the world yeah. in order for us to honor the world refugees day is something where it's already done. That's but right. We need to celebrate it because we not we don't have refugees in the world anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I assume to me the world are celebrating today is just like to produce more refugees. Yeah, that's what and it that is. is what, what is burning <laughs> my really thought around that. Yeah, yeah. And when you having um, when I bring it to the context of New Zealand, I think um, for me personally, um, the journey I've been through and the chance New Zealand has given. It's, a, it's a something unique for me personally. It's not no one, anyone else. Mm. But I have the opportunity to to overcome uh, part of the problem I've been through. Yes, I, right. I recover some of it and I discover a lot where mm. I will be able to give for other people. As you know, uh, there was some time. It's hard to help someone if you don't have something in your hand to help. That's right. But in my shoes, I've been able um, to... Uh, to help myself within a New Zealand context and be able to re-educate myself and uh, find a way that how I will overcome my uh, survival guilt in a way that I will be able to help other people as well to overcome their ones. That's right. That's uh, right. Today is a day I remind myself if I have a power, I need to stop something called refugees in the world because we all are humans and yeah. humans deserve respect like yeah. any one. Yeah, so, yeah. We, I hope I respond to you. Yeah, question. yeah, very well. Um, uh, Aban, you came a long way. Uh, you live in Syria and um, you know some people in refugee, in refugee camps and in urban cities, some have been there like for five months, some in six yeah. months, some in uh, five years, some ten years, you know, and and those people who have been there for like a year or nine months, they are complaining, oh, we have been here for long enough. How long did you live in Syria as a refugee? Um, if you put it in categories of refugees, I've been in Syria uh, refugees for five months. Yeah. 
but I was in Syria for five years. The yeah, time yeah. I was in Syria, I was asylum, uh, seeking asylum. S- yeah, asylum, asylum seeker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, because there will be a distinguish between the time you've been protected. Mm, by and the time, time you yes. were not protected. Yes. Mm. The time I've been protected, it took me, I think, the time I was in Syria in 2000. Mm. In 2000, I learned my application to UNHCR, a local office in Damascus, and that took me uh, after two years. I've been jailed based on um, the staying visa. We don't have a staying visa, but we have a UNHCR number, and we're not allowed to go back to Sudan because we're seeking asylum. And then after our prison, I've been able to appeal my application. And uh, 2004, I was lucky uh, to really to launch my application. But the new change in my circumstances was I was in a prison without any charges. And yeah. at the time, when I launched my application, this is the new development within my case in Syria, Damascus there. So they've been able to recognize my genuine uh, being a refugee. So I been given protection in um, in in March, mm. and then um, during the process when I got my protection, and then in uh, September I been uh, in August I been uh, referred to resettle in New Zealand, and then. Um, I think this uh, this uh, this uh, this stage is a lot of people do not understand. So people yeah. people think you know when you run away from your country, automatically you become a refugee. They do <laughs> not know that there are there are, there are uh, uh, processes the to processes be followed, and uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. processes takes a long time. Uh, running away from yeah. uh, uh, your for your safety is one thing. But getting recognized as um, as as a refugee or asylum seeker is is another, mm. and uh, yeah, people you know blend them together and they say, oh, you run away, and then now you qualify you to be a refugee. You know, no, that's no, no, no. Uh, yeah. Like I think Aban, uh, we got what we want from you, and now we want to let you go. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much for sharing thoughts. <laughs> Wonderful, Aban, always. Uh, thank you, guys, and it's really lovely to see that all of you are together. It's yeah, really yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. And, 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 and keep uh, the, the good work, and uh, uh, let's try to, to keep share our stories because our country deserves, or every individual in New Zealand deserves to know the reality of what we've been through. And have a lovely evening. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much, Aban. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Aban. Bye. 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 Yes, guys, Aban. that was uh, Aban, <laughs> your ARCC channel manager. Yep, so, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, no, uh, no shortcut to come to New Zealand. Yes. So you have to follow the process, the legal uh, it's procedure. Process. I would yeah. say and just, uh, you know, in a one word, one sentence, like a refugees, people sometimes they think, you know, they are the burden or they are just, just like a, you know, they are they're not uh, useful, or they're just saving, uh, trying to save their lives, mm. and they don't have sometimes. You know, most of the time they don't have a choice, option, to either live or leave. You know, yeah. so mm. they have to uh, leave their forced to leave their homes. So many cases, refugees are the investment yeah. to the system, to the country, and they are the assets. They came for the law. You know, different uh, like skills, yeah. doctors, engineers, and you know, mm. with uh, like different trades, uh, they're very useful. They come with the, the skills. With the skills, yeah. different skills, yeah. yeah. So I was meeting with uh, one of the guy here, uh, you know, after Mengi, this is uh, our World Refugee mm. Day at Immigration Center, Mengi Re- Refugee Resettlement Center. Mm. So I met a guy who showed me some beautiful photos that how he is uh, like a shoemaker. So he makes shoes with his hands, so, you know, with the different designs. Mm-hmm. So after, I think maybe seven, eight years, he's been stranded in Indonesia, but he still, you know, he knows that he, he, what is his plans to do, mm. what he's pl- willing to do later on yeah. when he go back to the community. So, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, you know. very interesting. And That's what I was saying before about the skills here, right? That, 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 that people come to our country uh, that have been in difficult situations bring some amazing skills to our yeah. country. Yeah. 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 The, the, the so other thing I want to do is, is to give a, a shout out to the United Nations because if we think about 
the, these almost 80 million displaced people. Yeah. And then the enormous job it is for, for the UN, uh, UNHCR to, to actually uh, deal with all that to try and get them into other countries. And, and knowing that they, they put forward you know, thousands of people and then our, our immigration department has to, has to decide who gets in and who doesn't. It's a huge task going on and on and on each day. It's hard to imagine 80 million, almost 80 million people that are, that are wanting, you know, to be to be rescued and to be into a better place. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah, I think we have come to the end of our program. So you see how quick it is. It's yeah, already one very hour. Very fast. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah you very, very fast. Those and <laughs> in. Yeah. I hope, I you, guys hope you guys enjoy, and we will be back again uh, same time uh, same next Saturday, Saturday next week. We are here every Saturday, uh, four, four or five. This is one hour show uh, live. Mm -hmm. And if you have interesting uh, topic that you would want us to talk about, please let us know. Go to our page, ARCC, and uh, yeah, we will talk about it. Yeah. Yes, if, uh, you guys, if you guys are interested for, uh, to knowing more about us or about our work mm -hmm. or wanting to get involved or want to listen to lovely songs, just let us know. <laughs> yes, and this is Bob Marley. Everything is going to be all right. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and the one thing you should take from us is money doesn't sort things out. Empowerment yep. and no. people getting better character is what sort things out. Money doesn't sort out our problem. Money doesn't sort out the problem. And remember, always be kind. Be kind, guys. Be kind. Bye-bye. See you next Saturday.